India has successfully test-fired its Agni Prime ballistic missile from a rail-based mobile launcher for the first time, marking a major boost to its nuclear deterrence. The canisterized two-stage missile, with a 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers range, was launched off Odisha, proving seamless integration with the new rail platform. Modeled after Russia's missile train concept, the system uses a custom rail bogey, disguised as a freight car, enabling rapid movement across India's vast network and making detection by satellites far more difficult. After Operation Sindor showcased the effectiveness of Israeli Harap drones in crippling Pakistan's defenses, the IF is accelerating plans to procure advanced loitering munitions with ranges beyond 500 kilometers. With Harap stocks nearly depleted, India will issue tenders for indigenous systems while placing limited follow-on orders from Israel. Domestic projects, like NAL's 1,000 km loitering munition UAV and new space Sheshnag 150 swarm drone, aim to boost self-reliance under Atmanurbar Bharat, ensuring long-range precision strike capability against regional rivals. BotLab Dynamics, known for record-breaking drone shows, has unveiled Blaze, its smallest fully indigenous drone. Built entirely in India, including RF systems, Blaze showcases breakthroughs in miniaturization, secure communications, and power efficiency. Founded at IIT Delhi, BotLab has already earned five Guinness World Records and developed advanced UAV tech like RTK GPS and indigenous controllers. Blaze symbolizes India's growing self-reliance in drones with potential applications in entertainment, surveillance, and beyond, marking a major leap in homegrown innovation. HAL Chairman D.K. Sunil dismissed speculation about French engines, confirming the Tejas MK2 is firmly tied to GE's 414 engines, with advanced negotiations ongoing. GE has resolved supply chain issues, promising 20 engines next year, while HAL prepares to sign a $1 billion contract for 113 more engines in October. Meanwhile, India signed a Rs. 62,370 crore deal for 97 Tejas MK1A jets, with 70% indigenous content, boosting self-reliance, strengthening supply chains, and generating significant jobs across India's aerospace ecosystem. HAL Chief Dr. D.K. Sunil confirmed GE is resolving supply issues, enabling delivery of 12 engines for the Tejas fighter program by March. HAL has already built its 10th Tejas, with production set to accelerate. India recently signed its biggest ever Tejas order, rupees 62,370 crore for 97 MK1A jets, featuring advanced radar, electronic warfare suites, and 64% indigenous content. Deliveries begin in 2027, boosting self-reliance, creating nearly 12,000 jobs annually, and strengthening India's defense ecosystem under Atmanur Barbaret. Asia Times reports, citing Chinese military sources, that India is developing an 8,000 km intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, seen as an advanced version of Agni-5. With lighter payloads, its range could stretch to 12,000 kilometers, covering China, East Asia, and beyond. Beijing accuses India of downplaying missile capabilities to avoid global scrutiny, especially after recent Agni-5 MIRV trials. While India maintains its credible minimum deterrence, the alleged move could intensify the India-China nuclear competition and heighten regional tensions. The Indian Air Force will retire its legendary MiG-21 fighter in Chandigarh, where its first squadron was formed in 1963. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and top military chiefs will attend the ceremony, featuring a final flypast and water cannon salute. The MiG-21, central to India's victories in the 1965, 1971, Kargil and Balakot conflicts, has trained generations of pilots. Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh will fly the last sortie, 
as the LCA Tejas steps in to replace it. As India advances its AMCA stealth fighter program, private firms like Tata Advanced Systems and Kalyani Group are moving away from HAL, preferring standalone bids or new consortiums to secure prototype rights. The rupees 15,000 core project invites both public and private players, aiming to reduce HAL's monopoly and boost competition. LNT has already teamed up with BL, while Adani and Mahindra may still align with HAL. With the IF seeking 126 jets, the AMCA promises advanced stealth, supercruise and multirole capability, making consortium choices critical for India's defense self-reliance and aerospace innovation. India is reconsidering Russia's Su-57 stealth fighter to address squadron gaps and rising threats from China and Pakistan with plans for direct purchases and local HAL assembly. This shift follows India's 2018 withdrawal from the joint FGFA program. Pakistan, meanwhile, downplays the move, stressing its own interest in China's J-35 stealth jets, highlighting deepening Sinopak defense ties. Analysts warned the rivalry could trigger a regional stealth arms race, straining India-US ties due to sanctions and testing Pakistan's finances. For both nations, the real challenge remains deterrence and readiness, not just headline-grabbing fighter acquisitions. India's Tejas MK-2 fighter jet program is moving forward with the first prototype, set to roll out by March 2026, followed by ground and taxi trials and a maiden flight later that year. Four prototypes are planned, two for flight trials and two for weapons testing aimed at achieving production clearance by 2031. HAL may begin limited serial production before 2030 if approved by the IAF. Prototypes will roll out annually until 2030, with trials focusing on key weapons systems. The program strengthens India's push for indigenous 4.5-generation fighters to meet growing IAF needs. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.